What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. So, guys, we are going to play Eve today. Let's see if we can get some other things knocked out on her. We need to do the Dark Room, Boss Rush, Hush, uh, Mega Satan. We got lots of things that we need to do. Let's see if we can get nice and strong and do these things. All right. Lot of enemies shooting at us room. Always one of my favorites. Just keep circling around them. Don't stop. They can't hit you. Just try and aim your tears so you're not wasting time, though. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that champion one, though, because that will shoot tears, and I might not be expecting it. Try and hit that one last so I can be a little bit more prepared. Just a little bit more prepared. Okay, so we did that flawlessly. Nice. Split shot to start off the run. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Split shot is always nice because it can increase your overall damage output quite significantly with the right combination of items. Okay. I get these double flies. Keep those further away from me so they don't explode and bounce into me. All right. Mm. We need some damage. Like, the split shot's nice, and it can help out other tiers, but it itself is not that strong. It's good for, like, group damage, I suppose. Like, if there's enemies right next to each other, the split shots can hit the other ones, and then, uh... Yeah, just do extra, extra damage beyond what your normal tiers would do. There we go. All right, let's put out these fires. So we have one penny to our name. I don't think it's worth going into the shop. Don't have a bomb. We can bomb the donation machine if we want to go into the shop and like try and get something. Mm-hmm. Gonna try and save our damage here for the boss. I think or our horror Babylon effect and the razor bleed. That's what I mean by that. So we got two pennies, still not worth going into the shop. All right. Oh, gotta juke him. Gotta juke him. Aha. So I don't know if I've seen that before, that those enemies that like when you hit them, they start turning blacker and blacker. Uh, I don't think I have actually seen them just die before. I assume that's what happened. But yeah, right there, we just saw that happen. So that's pretty cool to know that that's a, actually a thing. So. Those are enemies you could just, like, completely ignore as long as you can dodge them. Oh, there goes the bird. Yeah, you could completely ignore them as long as you can dodge them, and they'll just eventually take care of themselves. So that's kind of an interesting trait about them. Always assume that's what was happening, because when you watch them in a room, they kind of, like, blink red every now and then, like they're taking damage. But yeah, I've just never seen that happen. So yeah, just, just a little cool factoid, I suppose. Alright. Good old burning basement. Everything's on fire. Mm-hmm. Alright. This guy should be about done. There it is. This guy I haven't touched at all, so it's gonna take a few tears. Try and like lob those tears in there, so I'm out of tier range of it. All right, well, fill up our health. Let's do it. Little horn. All right. Let's get ourselves a little bit of a damage bonus here. By a little bit, I mean about five damage, four and a half damage. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's not let that happen again. I don't know when the last time I got hit by one of his holes like that was. Hmm. Not something I was expecting, to be honest. Nice. All right, Mr. Dolly, so that's good. I think we're going to leave that health right there. We'll be back. We're going to go into the cursed room real quick. There was another full red heart on this floor, so we should... Oh, there's a heart and a half, actually. So yeah, we should be able to refill up our health after we go into the cursed and leave the cursed room. And there's another one. Lots of red health on this floor. Some spiders, okay.
Well, we keen, we saw, we did the thing. It is time to go three cents. There could be a three cent soul heart in the shop, but I honestly don't think it's worth even taking a peek. And we're out of here. Let's go. All right, so a little slow on basement one. Like, uh, the clock is ahead of us, that's for sure. If we're going to try and do boss rush, we need to speed up. But again, we don't necessarily need to do boss rush today. It's just a thing that we should do at some point. Oh, that's going to hit me. That's a full soul heart. Bird is taking care of business. Come on. Oh no, he turned into the fire one. Now I think he. Oh, I, I thought it like restored all of its health when they caught themselves on fire like that, since they turned into like a different enemy, but I guess that's not actually the case. It seemed like it died still pretty quickly after it was on fire. So maybe it retains its like original HP or something? Hmm. These enemies seem to be taking a while, like when you enter a new room before they start firing. I know they always have like a cooldown, but it just seems like. Seems like their cooldown's a little bit longer right now for some reason. I'll take that key. We got five keys, five coins. So, so far we have successfully gone the wrong path. Whoa, okay, that, how did that not hit me? I don't know. <laughs> really feel like that should have hit me, but it's always a good feeling when you feel like something, you should be taking damage and then you don't anyway. I <laughs> find. All right. Okay, so we found the item room. Try and protect our black heart a little bit here. Uh, number two could be good. Bobby bombs is fine. Let's see if we can get that number two, because that would essentially be free bombs for the entire run. You just place a bomb when you're shooting in the same direction, holding down the button for like two seconds or three seconds or whatever it is. Yeah, if we can get ourselves a bomb to get to that, I would absolutely like to have free bombs for the run. Hmm. Well, we could have played that differently. Might have been able to get that troll bomb to blow up that marked rock for me, but I did not. Mm hmm. All right. Uh, I want that key, but I'm not going to go back for. Oh, actually, I have to go this way. Let's just grab the key real quick. Can I outrun the spike? Yes, I can. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was not the best way to go through those circle flies, but thankfully, I did slip between them. All right, we found the boss. We did not get a bomb yet. There's still another room. Let's go back to this other room. There's a shop. We could get a bomb in a shop. Another key, man. They're just giving us all sorts of keys. All right, so bomb here. We will bomb these. I take a these. And... I'll take the soul heart. All right. Perfect. Uh, oh boy. We could try and get to that chest, but I don't think it's really worth it. We're kind of... We're still on potential time crunch. I don't know if we are going to be doing the boss rush or not, but if we can, we should at least try, right? Oh, I'm trying to hit monster with those bombs, but it doesn't seem to be working too well. But at least the AOE damage, like when I do that, will at least get him. But if he can like jump onto that bomb or just stand right next to it when I do that, this will go much faster. There we go. Uh, yeah, HP up is good. Mmm, double deal. No, let's let's not do double deal.
I could have used my razor blade in there to do a little bit more damage. I didn't do that. I chose to use the bombs. This is a good room for the bombs. Whoop. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, it's a good way to get AoE damage on those enemies. All right. Another good room for him. Oh, that's all I need. Okay, cool. Keep going. Uh, all right, nothing in this room, just some spikes. Seems good. Yeah, just that AoE damage from the bombs, just the room-wide damage is so good. Three cents soul heart, we have three cents, seems good. Let's blow this guy up for the higher angel room chance. Okay. Nice. Seems like those bombs are definitely coming in pretty useful here. Oh, guys. All right, well, we found the boss. We didn't get our item room. All right, so the frail is our boss. Looks like we got a ghost. Okay, now is phase two. Oh boy. I'm just gonna go ahead and get hit by all the bullets, I guess. Don't brimstone me. Man, I keep getting hit by those shots. There we go. Uh, experimental treatment. You know what? We're gonna do it. Gave us an extra heart. We lost a little movement speed. Some damage. All right, well, we got some good stuff. I don't know where our item room is. I think we're just gonna go and skip it. Hopefully we'll get a better planetarium chance. Another perfect room for the the number two. Nice. Yeah, pretty much any room that's got a lot of enemies that take uh, multiple hits. <laughs> it's just so good to use this item just to do that room wide damage. It's real good. All right, troll bomb. Oh, uh, let's see here. We gotta wait. Right. All right, so there's a sack room. I don't want to give up my black heart if I don't have to. Uh, I don't really need the bomb or the key. Okay. So small rooms like that with a lot of enemies, <laughs> those are pretty scary with these bombs. Whoa, yay. Okay, I want to blow up these mushrooms, so let's do this, and then this one. Nothing. Loki's horns? All right, that's not bad. I don't think we need to go downwards. Pretty sure the, um... The cursed room can only have one exit. So I don't think there would be a room next to it on that side anyway. All right, moving on. Cool. 
Uh, this way. All right, we found the shop. Mm-hmm. Blow you up. Not bad. Three cents for the mystery bag. Sure. What card? The devil. All right. Uh, yeah, I think we I think we go. Let's see if I can blow up these two mushrooms here. Okay. These guys are going to be a little bit more tricky to try and explode since they have like so much more health. They got like a lot of different stages or whatever. Oh, okay. Forget that. I was going to blow up those mushrooms. That's just going to take too long. Did I find my item room? Or was it Loki's horns? I think it was Loki's horns. All right, this double spider is too tanky. Too tanky for the bombs. Uh, yes, it must have been Loki's horns. All right, let's keep going. The husk. Mm-hmm. I'll just keep putting the, uh, the bombs over on, like, the other side of the room just to get rid of the ads. All right, oh, oh, that almost was... Perfect, I almost just shot it right into him. Perfect, all right, so we got our angel room, we got a pentagram, angel room contains the candle. Uh, We do need to make a Satan, so yeah, I guess we blew up this angel. Whoa, okay, got hit. The Wrath of the Bird. Uh, yeah, well, we got the placenta that'll heal up our health. Is there a soul heart? I feel like there was not a soul heart in the shop. Let's just go back real quick and just take a look. Guess I'll grab that halfie since we're here. No soul heart. All right. This looks super secrety. All right, I think we're out of here. Not much else to do on this floor. We could destroy all those mushrooms, but if we want a chance to try and go to the boss rush, we can't really linger. We gotta go. We're already like riding the line. This is probably not a boss rush run. Like, we are not super strong. Right. Just explode over there, please. Thank you. Um, I think we've seen before this doesn't do anything to us when we have an item that has no charges. Okay. And this is going to be a fun room. Probably just safer just to kill this thing with tears. All right, item room is 10 bombs. Well, all those skulls and nothing, huh? Chance to gain when getting hit? Oh, uh, sure. I guess that's better than the bulb, which isn't really going to be doing anything for us. Let's take this. We blow this up. Really low chance of a devil deal because we got hit. Maybe we'll find a 
beggar or something that we can blow up, which would increase our chance. Okay, yep, so... Oh, oh, no. Why did I do that? <laughs> I could have gotten it on the first try flawlessly, and then I decided to go back because I didn't get it. Well, that wasn't smart. So we can see what's in the challenge room now. What do we got in here? Not worth. We got two minutes to clear this floor and the next floor. I don't think... I don't think this is a boss rush run. So I think at this point we can probably slow our roll just a little bit. Two of speeds. It could end up being the Mega Satan run that we need, though. Oh, we gotta press the other button. I was like, why didn't these things stop? <laughs> For some reason, I had it in my mind that killing those Eternal Flies was what we needed to clear that room, but no, obviously that was incorrect. Whoa, lost goodness. Uh, yeah, let's look for Soul Hearts. No soul hearts. Whoa, guy. That was close. Uh, yeah, I don't want to go over the spiked rocks to get to those chests, so I'm not going to do that. Two bombs wasn't enough to kill these things. Fine. Uh, this feels super secrety to me. Judgment. Oh, we found our judgment. So now we just not gotta take no damage in the boss room, otherwise our chance for the devil deal pretty much drops to zero. It'll be above zero, but it'll pretty much be zero. Great. Uh, all right. Uh huh. A little scary looking, but it was fine. All right, bird. I probably could just leave this room. I probably should just leave this room, but I decided to stick it out. Oh, uh, there's a soul heart there. I think I want that for health protection. Charge key, I don't think is needed. I mean, it is essentially free since we have unlimited bombs and now we're no longer in a rush anymore. So let's just go and get these. Um, we found the secret room. Did we find the super secret? No, I thought that was a super secret earlier, and that was a secret room. So super secret can't be there. Let's go find this real quick. Oh man, it's probably going to be way on the right hand side, isn't it? Um, yeah, I'm thinking like off this room over here of all places. No. Uh, all right, so super. Oh, I guess it could be off that small room at the very bottom. I didn't even see that small room earlier. That would probably, oh no, it can't be here either. Um, let's see. So if I was a super secret. Oh, we already found the super secret. I'm sorry, guys. We already found it. Sometimes I wish those rooms are a little bit more obvious on the map. Like when you got a map like this, when there's stuff in practically every room, it's hard to see what you're looking for. Um, thinking maybe we could try for a blood bag since we got time. 
So we got one, two, three, four hearts in total that I can see. So let's just go ahead and do this. And we also have placenta, which might give us an extra halfy. Blood bag it is. Let's go. All right, so we are fighting Loki. Perfect. Screw is good. Not damage, but it is still good. Um, I think we're good. Let's go. All right, in the arcade, what do we have? We do have a blood machine. We have a double beggar. Mm -hmm. Let's keep all this in mind. Oh, three hands, four hands. This feels secret roomy. It's not, but it felt that way. All right, we got a curse of the, uh, the maze, I guess. Curse of the Lost, Curse of the Maze. I can never remember the names of the curses. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go in here. We got plenty of keys. And now we got plenty of money. All right, very good. All right, so we got one red heart, two red hearts on the floor. Nice. All right, I don't think we need the warp card. Three red hearts on the floor for that double beggar or for another blood bag. I think the double beggar is probably what we're gonna use. Yeah, that tier rate that we got, goodness, that feels so much better. Where, what did we get recently? So we got the candle. Okay, so the candle is what's really upping our tier rate. The screw we just got, which is just the stat up. The candle is a temporary stat up until we take damage. But even still, it's feeling pretty good right about now. All right, what do we got in the dice room? A four, so that rolls all the pedestals on this floor. We have not seen a pedestal item yet. I believe that re-rolls the items in the shop too. Oh man, I just like uh, stunned mom's hand while I was in the air. Perthro, all right. Um, we have a high chance for a deal. Man. Decisions, decisions. I feel like I want to take the box. This is Necropolis 2. So if I was going to do that, I would probably take the box and a warp card with me into the mom fight. So I can get like an extra deal item and then warp out. I think that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to leave the razor behind. I'm going to go get the warp card. Then we can use the perth row or the uh, dice room on our item room and the shop. Yeah, that's garbage item. I don't actually want this. I'll touch it though. Okay, so we want, where was that skull that we saw earlier? Right here. Okay, so we're gonna take these into the boss fight. Hopefully we get ourselves a deal. Hopefully we can use the present and get like a free deal item. Well, I mean, that's the whole point of it is so you get an item from that item pool. Hopefully it's a good item. Kinda hoping we'd get a soul heart from that, but apparently not. Oh.
All right, let's fight mom's foot. Okay, we still have to like be mindful not to take damage. That was close, that bomb almost got me. Dude, come on. Please don't step on me. Okay, so we got a high chance for a deal. Come on, deal. Dude, come on, really? Nothing? Ah, oh, that's frustrating. So we're going dark room. Let's grab this. We are going to fool out of here. The fool. All right. Well, in that case, I guess we're going to get ourselves another uh, item room item. We didn't find the secret room yet, did we? Oop. Okay, okay, come on. So secret room is not next to the one heart battle room, which is unfortunate. I guess it could be right next to the dice room up ahead. It is not here. Oh, it could be this way. Wow, the uh, secret room is being very, very sneaky. Get him, bird. Get him, bird. Right, so we'll take our per throw. Don't want to forget that. I'm guessing it could be here or next to the item room. It's right there. Okay. Well, uh, let's use the present in here. Harlequin baby is not that great. All right, let's purr through the items in there. I mean, that's extra HP. Am I going to do something that's going to make me lose that? I don't know. And then Keen's other eye bounces around the room. That's pretty garbage, too. I think at this point, we go and use the dice room. I mean, we could go into the cursed room. We could try the one heart battle room. Oh, man. I probably should not have taken the eternal heart just yet. There could be items in here, and I want to check these out. There's no items in here. So there goes that eternal heart. Use a regular bomb, don't got time to mess with that. Chariot card is not bad. All right, so we went in there. One heart battle room. Let's go to the devil beggar. Was this one? Oh, that's a devil card, right.
Um, this is why we waited on the double room. I don't think we're gonna take Pound of Flesh. I didn't enjoy that the last time we had that. Let's go grab some health, and we're gonna dump it back into that machine. Really would like to see another blood bag. I kind of... I'm a little... Mm, a little saddened. That's the word that I'm looking for. I'm a little saddened that I had to get rid of that eternal heart. I would have loved to keep it. Was there... No, there's no heart in there. What about the shop? The soul heart. Let's buy the bag. I don't think that battery's gonna serve any purpose for us. Now we can gamble for more health. That's another possibility. And then if worst comes to worst, we can just AFK and placenta will fill up our health. I don't really want to do that, but we could do that. Okay, so that's gonna fill up our health all the way. I would like to at this point just see what's in the one heart battle room There's something that's gonna damage me somewhere here, right? We gotta remember to pick up that blood bag before We roll Mm hmm That's not bad. All right, I think we'll do that. Regrets. <laughs> Regrets were made. Wait, what's our other boss? Oh, the Mask of Infamy. Champion Mask of Infamy. Nice. That was a good that was a good hit. Alright, get confused. Whoa! Have a bomb. Okay, so we got HP up there, we got HP up over here. We could gamble, I don't think it's worth at this point. We're gonna come back for whatever that item is. I'll mess with that machine at that time. We'll probably just blow it up and take the money or whatever we get from it. Uh, this machine, we'll probably do the same thing, just blow it up on the way back. Okay. So we got everything that we wanted. Let's roll. Hopefully we get some good items here. Uh. Some decent money. We gotta check the shop too before we leave. Pound of flesh turned into... Oh, man. Bunch of garbage items. I might take the Bob's brain. Like, it's... It's not great, but as long as you know that you have it and you're not gonna die in one hit, like, it's not awful. It's not great, but it's not awful. It's one of those items, like, mm, I kind of want to leave behind, but, like, it, it does serve its purpose, and it can be good. Kind of looking for a Hierophant card. Mm -hmm. Whoa, okay.
All right. Um, I think I'm going to do this a different way. Toot it and then shoot it over there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Like, when you do that, the items just kind of get launched by your own tears. Yeah, definitely want the chariot over the double. We've already done this room. We want to check the shop. Box of friends duplicates your familiars. I think I'm okay with that. Emperor, this. I think I still want that. All right. We did not find the super secret yet. Did we find the secret? No. Yes. That was a Yara. Um, I think the Yara comes with us. Yep. All right, we're out of here. Did I grab everything that I needed? Hopefully. <laughs> I think I got everything that I wanted. Rip, angel, devil, deal. Uh. All right. I'm really not a fan of those masks. I'm sure I've said that many times before. Those are some of my least favorite enemies in the game. The masks are just so fast. Whoa, that guy scooches four times. Yeah, the masks just, uh, they move so fast. And the hearts, if you try and get close to them. Oh, that's perfect where this guy is. If you get close to the hearts, they shoot in cardinal directions. It's just like a really awkward enemy to fight. I'm just not a fan of them. Uh, was there any marked rocks in here? Could use that extra health protection, or I guess just extra health in general since we lost our deal. Well, it's not lost. Might as well be, but it's not lost. What the heck? It's not lost for the floor. I must have placed down a bomb. I thought I would release the trigger. Oh, there was a marked rock right there by the exit that we just took. Let's go grab that. We have plenty of keys for this. A three. Rerolls all pickups on the entire floor. Hierophant card. Oh, uh, yes. I'm considering if I should Yara this or hold on to the Yara. I think we hold on to the Yara. The three we're going to hold off. I don't know if we're actually going to use it or not. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is Utero 1. All right, let's fight Triacnid. Don't step on me, Triacnid. This is just an upgraded or at least a variation of Daddy Long Legs. I'm not actually sure if it's harder. I guess it does like different ads. Maybe that's the difference. All right. We're out of here. Guard Womb 2. Somehow we got flies. I'm not sure how we did that, but we did.
I think Bob's brain has gotten me like a couple times now. Like we have the bomb shots if I hold down the button for too long, and we have Bob's brain. Yeah, lots of like things that can explode us. Just gotta be pretty careful about that. I would like to get ourselves our last uh, guaranteed deal. Oh, for a second there, I thought Bob's brain was on fire. I was like, what caused that? But the brain and the candle are on top of each other. <laughs> um, Devil Beggar, we'd need a lot of health for that. Oh, 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 oh. I still got hit, dang it. Oh, dang it. I was trying to line him up with Bob's brain and not get hit. There we go. I don't know what just hit me. I guess a straight bullet? Or maybe one of those jumpy worms? Okay, well, we've taken damage for a second time, so... Not doing very good on the uh, trying to get a deal situation. This room has my attention. If we can get enough health, I think there was a gambling machine, the uh, the shell game. In the shell game, we can kind of manipulate a little bit to try and guarantee that we get health, or at least uh, more so than a lot of the other gambling machines. It's not guaranteed. But that could allow us, if we get lucky, Uh, to use the sacrifice room. I guess we kind of need to use the sacrifice room. The whole purpose of this run, right, was to do Mega Satan and the boss rush. Well, I mean, I guess we wanted to clear the dark room. But, uh, yeah, I said that I wanted to do those other things. I kind of feel like I should go drop some health off in the... in this room here. We'll put a couple hearts in there, that way our placenta, when it like recharges... won't be over healing us. Wasting. Lucky Penny. Let's blow that up. Button. Button. No marked rocks, all right. Pretty good. Not bad. Oh, we got an explodey eye of explodiness. Oh boy. No oh boy, they're touching me. I don't like to be touched like that. Don't appreciate that. All right, so our health is not looking real good. <laughs> not looking real good at all. Okay, so these guys still fire when they are confused. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So one heart battle room, I guess we could check that out. I just need to do damage to myself and then we can go see what's in here. I'm not entirely sure that is worth. If we had some kind of warp card, I'd grab that and then leave.
I'm not sure what our base tier rate is, but I think it's fine. Where's that bomb? Right, so let's play with this machine a little bit and see if we can get ourselves. Well, 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 well. That happened. That's unfortunate. So the only other thing that we can do is just AFK and let our health recharge. Which I think we might do. I mean, I guess we can try and find health from like some of these other like random rocks and stuff. Whoops. There's no special rocks over there. I don't know if there were any other rocks that we could find. Uh, super secret could have health in it. Let's see if we can find that. Yeah, that's pretty annoying when it, it gets knocked away like that. No super secret there. Oh, I didn't hold it long enough. I, mean, I guess I have nine bombs. Let's just use regular bombs. A soul heart. We did not find the secret room yet. I'm going to assume it's over here where the four rooms are. No, it's not there at the four touchy room. Could be here. There's another four touchy room. Not there either. Maybe... Nope, can't be here. Could be here, possibly. Could be below the sacrifice room. A lot of places for that one. And we got greed, huh? Right, um... So we want increased angel room chance. 50% chance for a random chest. We didn't get either of those. So now we gotta wait for our placenta. So I'm gonna let that happen and let our health fill back up. All right, so I let the HP regenerate for a little while. Where are we at now on time? Uh, now we're 19 minutes on this run, but you guys aren't gonna be watching this for that long. Yeah, I was AFK for about 25 minutes or so, I think. Anyway, uh, so 33% chance for three coins, 67% chance for angel room. All right, we got the coins. Let's press the button, we go to an angel room. Awesome. Um, I think the holy beams of light are what we're gonna take here, and then we also need the key piece right so let's go fight gabriel oh i just bob brain myself whoop cardinal direction don't stand in it okay diagonal direction don't stand in it <laughs> bob's brain's gonna kill me i think it is okay so we got that um, 33% chance for a random angel room item or a soul heart. We got the soul heart. Okay. Well, now I'm going to wait for a little while again. Let our health fill back up. Uh, I would like to try and go for the soul hearts, but maybe we'll get the 30 cents. But I would like the soul hearts. Either way, we'll be back. All right. So here we are just a little bit later. We're now at an hour and 46 into the run. Just been AFKing again to let the health... Fill back up, so we get the uh, the troll bombs here. Let's keep those away from us. Mm -hmm. And then Uriel, we don't actually need to fight Uriel, but we'll spawn it in and we'll leave because we have our entire key piece. Now we just want the soul hearts and we did not get them. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Um. So at this point, I don't know if I need to AFK anymore. 
We have a soul heart in the seeker, super seeker room. We have a soul heart here. I think we're just going to take what we have and we're going to get out of here at this point. This run's going on pretty long, even though like I've been cutting out the AFK time. It is getting long. So yeah, let's go fight the boss. All right, it lives. Whoa. Yeah, those holy beams of light. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got hit. Don't want to lose my soul hearts. Okay, well, I lost my soul hearts. <laughs> I didn't want to lose them and I lost them. Oh, she's shooting. Oh, oh, she's shooting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, our health is not looking real good. I was thinking that we'd be doing okay there by, uh... Yeah, just going for this, but apparently we're still not as strong as I thought we are. Hmm. It, we might need to AFK just so we can survive this run. Let's... We're, we're going to the devil, aren't we, on this? Aren't, uh, yeah, we don't have... The Polaroid, we have the negative. Well, there's really not much else to do on that floor, so we're going to go down into the devil, into Sheol. And yeah, as much as I don't want to do it, I think we're just going to AFK and let our health fill back up and actually give this a proper shot. So, <laughs> once again... All right, so here we go. Our health is full. <laughs> we are ready to start this floor. Let's see if we can keep our health this time and not lose it unexpectedly. So I would like to try for some black hearts and soul hearts. Mm-hmm. I don't know, can I bomb both of these things from here? I wonder. Yes, I can. Awesome. All right. Bob's brain. Go go hit something over there, please. No. I'd like to actually aim it so I don't have to worry about it being so close to me. There it is. All right, so we got rid of Bob's brain for just a little bit. This guy should be about dead. Yeah, Bob's brain does a quite a massive amount of damage to enemies here. Mm-hmm. All right, Bob's brain is back. We got to just be mindful of that. Nice. I should get rid of the spiders and that guy too. Awesome. Ooh, a sun card. Huh. Well, I guess that'll help us out if we lose some health. I think I still want to take the Yerum. Oh man, these ghosts are a little tanky. Okay, so we have our Burning Bob's brain back again. <laughs> now it's not hidden behind the candle. Oh, the candle's not hidden behind it anymore. Oh, we got lasers. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got hit twice. All right, well, I guess that should be fine. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is going to be interesting. I'll just hang out over here. Nice. <laughs> That's always fun when that happens. Definitely want these soul hearts if we can get them. Well, four fires, no soul hearts. That is unfortunate. Okay, I kind of want these guys to come close to each other so we can Bob's brain them. And we'll just place a bomb here. Yep. All right, so we made it to the boss. You know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to grab that sun card. We can't take it with us because we're taking Yura with us. Uh, so I'll take that into the boss room with me just in case. I guess we can use a razor a little bit too and get some extra damage going on here. That's something we haven't really been doing. All right, got my finger on the sun card. Oh, gotta use it. Mm 
Mm -hmm. All right, not bad, not bad. You know, there was no shadow for that that hook. <laughs> I was like waiting for the shadow. Maybe it was there and I just didn't see it. I feel like there wasn't a shadow there anyway. All right. So that wasn't bad at all. We kept our health. So let's go over and grab our Yero. Very good. All right. So we are off to the dark room. The razor has appeared in the basement. All right. We're going Yara these. There's a sack dagger. I think we just unlocked that last episode, I feel like. Gimpy. Uh-huh. Oh, they're tempting. They are tempting me. Uh, I think we need to go with Brimstone. Yep. Out of everything here, I think Brimstone is the one I am most interested in. And it's the one that, well, I was going to say it's the one that costs the most, but I guess we have uh, Lusty Blood down here, which costs about the same. Oh, I have no idea what my... What my lasers are doing, but I like it. Uh, ghost? Hello? Yeah, that was weird. Oh, that's Loki's horns that's doing that. Okay, I didn't know what was happening there, but yeah, now I understand. Alright. Really hoping we get some HP up, because if we don't, I'm not sure how we're going to handle uh, Mega Satan. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, well, we got Chub down, all four of them. Well, I'll take that red heart. Of course it explodes like right on me. <laughs> Good old Bob's brain. All right, we're gonna leave that there. Oh, those are tempting. Like we could AFK more and get everything out of all of those machines. I don't know if I want to do that though. Kind of wish the holy beams of light would proc a little more often with the brimstone. Ooh, this is good. Yeah. All right, so we'll do that. I guess one thing that's nice about the brimstone besides that <laughs> is the fact that it's not like doing the split shot as I'm trying to do the butt bombs. Well, that didn't really work. No soul hearts out of those. All right. Well, that's another free hit in there. I think we're going to hold off on that for just a little bit. But yeah, getting the... Getting that extra heart, that makes it so that Brimstone only costs us one heart container, essentially. <laughs> when the Loki's horn goes off, it's super crazy. I like it. Stitches! I don't think we're going to be using stitches. Wow, that hit me. Okay. I thought I was going to be far enough away, but sure. Pick that up. Um, nice. I don't know how many ghosts we have left. At least two. All right. So I'll leave that there. We want to leave as much health on the floor as possible while surviving. So we can go do the bosses here. We still have to do the lamb, too. It's not just Mega Satan that we need to do. We do actually have to fight the lamb. Okay, Common Cold's good. 
And I don't think that does anything for our Bob's brain, but that's five bombs and they're big bombs now, so that's good. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even see the, the bomb that I put down. I was just focusing on Loki there. Well, I am taking so much damage. This is why I wanted to leave <laughs> the soul hearts. Okay. I just literally ran right into that. I have no excuse for that nonsense. Okay, now I'm scared. Now I am scared. We'll just hang out over here for a little bit. <laughs> now I'm really scared. Uh, less scared, but I'm still pretty scared. Uh, yeah, there is the red hearts back here. We're gonna go back for those. Whoa, okay. That's another reason why I don't like leaving troll bombs in a room. That wasn't a troll bomb, but you understand what I'm saying. Like, they can just get you when you're not expecting it. You think the rooms are clear and boom, troll bomb to the face. Just gonna press this button, leave this butt bomb there. All right, not bad. Spawns a beggar and more poison tears. Let's put the beggar over in this bigger room. Judgment. All right, very good. Well, uh, we'll, we'll mess with Judgy. We need a key beggar is what we need. I like it. HP up is fantastic. Give me all of that HP up all day long. Mm-hmm. Not bad. All right, I'll take one of those hearts. I don't want to be greedy. Mm-hmm. And one little black spider there. Got it. Yeah, this brimstone. Pretty good. Pretty good with the split shot. The Loki's horns. Okay, another half soul hair will leave. Big old bomb. Ooh, lovers. That might come with us into the boss room. I don't think we have another card, and that could be very, very useful. Huh. Huh. So we don't have any other cat pieces. That will set our HP to one, which would not be ideal deal i don't think there was enough stuff at the start to like i don't think there was anything at the start that would give us more hp okay i'm gonna have to think about what we're gonna do here but let's go fight the lamb and get that done for the very least <laughs> that we can do on this run How come Bob's brain wasn't there? You go. Whoa, okay. Rip candle. But you unleash the bird. Oh, okay. If possible, I would like to save my lover's card. But we're probably gonna have to use it here. Ooh. 
Oof, all right. So no, I don't want to do a victory lap. We did get a heart. Uh, we're gonna have to think about this. <laughs> so let's leave the soul heart on the floor here. And let's just kind of reevaluate what we got. Is it something worth considering taking the dead cat and then, or like grabbing all these items here at the start and then taking the dead cat? Um, ocular rift, lusty blood, gimpy. Yeah, nothing here I think is worth dropping my HP down. Now, if we had something like the pact, uh, sacrificial robes or ceremonial robes, uh, Abaddon, like lots of different things that would give us soul hearts back. I would really consider it. But I'm not seeing anything here, guys. So we need to collect our health to go grab that eternal heart and then hope for the best, I suppose, is what we're going to do here. So we have that one and then there was the happy we left over... I'd really like to take the dead cat, but like, I can't just sit there with like one HP and expect to do anything for Mega Satan. I don't even think with what we got right now, we're going to be able to succeed, but we're going to give it a try. Yeah, no point in going over there. That's just the dead cat. Um, there's another trinket. It looks like in one of these rooms up north. I want to go double check what that trinket is. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing one. I don't think it's going to help us survive, but I like to know what it was. Right, that doesn't help. Okay, and then we go grab this eternal heart down here. So the only other thing that we can do at this point is just let our HP regen all the way and then go into Mega Satan. I could also take the um, sulfur for one heart. Maybe that's worth doing. That way we have like the bigger brimstone. The bigger brimstone mixed with the split shot and the Loki's horns might actually be worth it. I think we do that. Oh, Leviathan. So now we have flight and more health. Wow, that was actually really worth it. I don't think any of these other items... I mean, I'd like to have the Lusty Blood. But I don't think it's worth taking. Okay, I think our choices have been made. It's either now or never. Let's do this. Mm-hmm. Just really got to avoid as much as possible getting hit, which I have failed to do twice now. This big brimstone certainly is pretty cool, though. Oh, man. No, oh, I can't be doing that. I gotta get rid of these hands. There we go. Phase change. Mm hmm. All right. This certainly is a scary fight. <laughs> All right, face change again. Now we get the angels. All right, and then this one. Stay away from the cardinal directions when it blinks. It didn't blink. I flinched though.
Oh, there's a bomb. I don't know where the bomb went. Okay. Where the other hand? There we go. Oh, I took too long. Oh, and it burned stone me in the face. Okay, so we're down to the skull phase. This is the one that does like a lot of fire and stuff. We don't have anything to block the, the shots or anything. But at least it won't be doing the brimstone on me anymore, I don't think. But it does like these weird tears. I don't know how to dodge this. Like, where's a safe spot in this? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. These tears certainly are cool, though. Oh, man. Those tears are, like, doing four-way splits. Oh, we got him. Okay. Two hearts remaining. Easy. You guys are concerned? Psh, psh. Oh, man. We got delirium. I don't think we're going to do delirium on this run, guys. I think we're going to do that when we do the hush. While we are strong-ish, I am not feeling it on this run. I've been taking so much damage. I think we'll wait for another day. The black lipstick has appeared in the basement. Little baby has appeared in the basement. All right, guys, that is it for this episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. There was a lot of AFK time that I cut out of this episode. This one took me quite a while to get done, but you know, we made progress and that's the important thing. We knocked out the dark room and Mega Satan, so I'm happy with that. Uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what I did wrong or what I could have done better, or if you got any tips or tricks for me, leave them down there as well. That's it for me for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.